For my fellow short brethren, those of you who have faced the same assumptions with steadfast courage, this video is dedicated to you. What's up guys, my name is Pierce. I'm here to give you my best advice to help you achieve your fitness goals. And if you're new here and you wanna learn how to build your dream physique, or you're a short guy like me who just loves to train and be healthy, this is the place for you. So consider subscribing and click the notification bell, that way you never miss another video. Got too hot, too hot. Guys, before we start, leave a comment about assumptions that have been made about you in regard to your height. Now, I'm not making this video to say that everybody thinks these things, just like it would be wrong for me to say that every short man does or is these things. Of course, people will always formulate their own personal opinions, and they're entitled to that. But the point is, these assumptions about short guys who lift, or about short guys in general, are annoying. Hey brah, if you're short and buff, you're obviously overcompensating for your height. Kiss my booty. I work out for myself because I want to be healthy and look good. And did I mention it's actually easier for short guys to look more muscular? Oh yeah, I did. Right up there. Now I'm sure for some short men this is true, but if it is, so what? You're belittling them because they want to better themselves? That's just wrong. Yeah, well, short guys are weaker. Even if we are, which we're not, isn't that one of the reasons we actually go to the gym in the first place? To get stronger? Shouldn't we be working together to help each other out rather than put each other down? You're just overly confident to hide your insecurities. Smooch my tuchus. I'm confident because I love myself and I love the physique that I've built because of all my hard work. Perhaps through assuming my insecurities, you're actually revealing yours. And a lot of guys are insecure about their height, just like a lot of people are insecure about their acne. Or like how I'm insecure about my hyper hydrosis. That's right, I excessively sweat on my hands. But so what? Who cares? How does it affect you? Blowing out someone else's candle does not make yours shine brighter. Sure, it's not unlawful to carry assumptions or stereotypes. In fact, it's impossible not to. It's completely natural. The problem lies in the fact that we use the smallest amount of information, possibly gleaned by one experience, to create these generalizations and stigmas about entire groups of people. Does that sound familiar? I apologize. This video was originally intended to be humorous, but it's taken a more serious note. I'm pretty much ranting at this point. But this is a very real issue, and it's important to talk about it. Now, there are bad assumptions as well as good assumptions, but you know what they say about assuming in the first place. So no, not every short guy in the gym is trying to overcompensate for a short height. And no, not every short guy with the least bit of confidence has an apology complex, maybe he's just proud of who he is. And there's nothing wrong with that. Every person has their own list of pros and cons about who they are. A pro about short guys is that we have an advantage in close quarters fighting situations, whereas a con is we need a step ladder in the kitchen. So although assumptions are natural, don't immediately assume. But if a guy is acting arrogant, call him out on it. Not because of his height, but because he's a dick. Thanks for watching my fellow shorties and everybody else. We're actually almost at 100 subscribers, so if you could just click that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. Please thumbs this video up if you like it and comment down below about the assumptions made about you. Until next time, stay strong and stay sincere. Thanks for watching my fellow shorties and everyone else. We're almost at 100 stru- <sighs> If you're short and buff, you're obviously comes- if you're short and buff, you're obviously overcompensating for your height. If you're short and buff, you're obviously overcompensating for your height. Who lift are annoying. Katara! Oh my god, the cat's in the Christmas tree.